I hear this question a lot, and as it recently cropped up in the comments, I thought I'd make a short video to answer it. I've seen a number of instances on YouTube of drivers being stopped and refusing to give their details, either because they haven't committed an offence, or because they insist they'll produce their driving documents at a later date. But showing vehicle documents and giving you details are not one and the same. Under section 165 of the Road Traffic Act, all drivers must give their name and address when asked and, if different, give the name and address of the vehicle owner. The police don't need a reason to ask for this, nor do they need any reasonable suspicion. They can also ask to see your driving documents without reason, including certificate of insurance, MOT certificate and driver's license. Although it's technically an offence not to show these documents when asked, you can't be convicted for it as long as you produce them within seven days at a police station. Even the police recommend you don't keep your documents in your vehicle at all times. Ordinarily, the police will use various databases to check for the existence of these documents at the roadside, but these databases aren't always accurate, and if you're in dispute, the police must issue what's known as a HALT-1, also known as a producer. If you then fail to show your documents within seven days, you can still avoid conviction if you produce them at court and give a very good excuse for not having shown them earlier. However, the police can't just seize your vehicle just because you failed to show your documents when asked. They need reasonable grounds for believing that you don't have a license or are uninsured or that you failed to stop. Documents aside, there is no seven day grace period on giving your name and address when asked. If you refuse to tell the police who you are when stopped, you can be arrested and charged. Unfortunately, a police officer in uniform is free to pull over whomever they want for whatever reason they choose. Something they do on a regular basis, despite best practice rules suggesting they should give a reason for the stop. This also gives the police a very wide latitude to make vindictive traffic stops of drivers who are routinely stopped for no other reason than they were stopped before. If you find yourself being routinely stopped by the police for bogus reasons, then it's more than likely your vehicle registration has either been erroneously or maliciously stored on the ANPR database. Although you have no remedy under the Road Traffic Act, this is likely to be a breach of data protection laws, in which case, you can issue the police with a Section 10 notice under the Data Protection Act to cease processing your vehicle data on the grounds that it's causing you unwarranted damage and distress. You also have a further right under Section 13 of the same Act to sue for compensation for any damage or distress caused. I won't go into any more detail on data protection because that's the subject for another video. Just remember though that failure to give details relates specifically to being stopped in a vehicle. Very different laws apply to being stopped on foot, so don't confuse the two. You don't have to get out of your vehicle or sit in the back of a police car. And the police don't have powers to demand the details of your passengers unless they have reasonable cause to believe they were driving the vehicle during an accident or they've committed a road traffic offence. One final point is that some people might say that Section 165 intrudes upon your absolute right to silence. But there is no absolute right to silence in English law. And in any event, section 165 state that drivers must give their name and address. You don't have to speak it. You could just as easily show your proof of identity and remain silent. You're not obliged to answer any questions such as where you're going, where you've been and what you're carrying in the vehicle. Nor can the police use your refusal to answer such questions as a reason to detain you or search your vehicle. Not that the police seem to have any respect for that rule.